Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. And yes, I have my lighting and I have my fan, because it's a bit warm. It's more than a bit warm today in my area, actually. <laughs> anyway, so welcome to the YouTube channel of yours truly, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. And it has been far too long since I have acknowledged my newest YouTube channel subscribers, and they are Raymond Avalos, beautiful name, Miss Gigi, Miss Gigi, Miss Banji. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have yet to watch a full episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, and, and one would think that I watch it religiously, but I actually do not. Yes, there are gay men in the world who do not watch RuPaul's Drag Race religiously, and I happen to be one of them, but I digress. Pink Divination. I love this YouTube channel name, um, especially because one of my favorite people on planet, planet Earth, Michelle, the Michelle Swan Graham, Swan of Dreamers on YouTube, is her YouTube channel. Her signature color is pink. My signature color publicly is purple, but my uh, my historically longtime favorite color is blue, which is why I'm wearing blue predominantly today. Um, Miss Psycho Renee, when I saw this, I immediately thought, oh, this is somebody that Drake would be bosom buddies with because, you know, Drake's a little cray cray. So, yes, Miss Psycho Renee. <laughs> I, I think that she, she created that because not only is she a little Miss Psycho, but um, she wants people to laugh, and when I read that, I'm like, oh yeah, she's gonna, she's, she's, she's not gonna be anything even remotely resembling boring. And last but not least, Elizabeth English. What a beautiful name. Oh, I love that. So welcome to the YouTube channel of yours truly, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. I'm also gonna have Drake do a quick close-up of the pendant that I'm wearing. Uh, as some of you know, I change pendants depending upon the transiting sun sign, and this is the pendant that I am wearing while the sun is in Virgo. This is a beautiful green aventurine. It is one of my favorite emotional healing crystals. It is also one of my favorite prosperity attracting crystals, and I have used um, green aventurine for both on numerous occasions throughout the years. Uh, aventurine comes from the Italian word aventura, which means adventure. And I did not do that on purpose. Um, I can tell you what happened. So, um, Durga, more, more, well, Durga, the cat, formerly known as Durga the kitten, um, she loves to sleep behind my desktop computer. And my desktop computer has a stand, and the stand has a drawer. And when Miss Durga stretches out, it knocks the keyboard down. So, Drake, would you kindly pick it up from the floor, please? Thank you so very much. I love you and appreciate you. And, um, yeah, you know, because... And you'll check it for um, damage in a little while. <laughs> it's actually not as bad as... And for the record, I'm not freaking out because I'm on camera. If this had happened when I wasn't on camera, oh my god, it's like be like, ah! The sounds I would be making would be very creepy and scary. But I'm on camera, so I'm going to compose myself. So, let me talk to you about my sabbatical. So, when I first began learning about Western astrology, I learned that Capricorn is the sign of the workaholic. And it just so happens that my Sun sign is Capricorn, my Mercury sign is Capricorn, and my Venus sign is Capricorn. So, being professionally oriented, being money oriented, being work oriented, uh, working long, hard hours, um, is not an issue for me. Um, even in my professional psychic practice, when I've, um, I'd say 98% of the time, when I offer my psychic services at public venues, I meet with upwards of 10 clients, and the span of that public venue, whether it's three hours, five hours, six hours, 10 hours, what have you, and I've done readings at corporate parties where I met with upwards of 40 clients in the span of a few hours. So 
meeting with multiple clients is not an issue with me. But I began to notice that I was beginning to experience burnout, which is crazy, was crazy to me because I'm like, when do I experience professional burnout? The answer is never. So I knew that I needed to do something. And I knew that August would be the perfect time for me to take a sabbatical. And that's exactly what I did. I took a sabbatical from my professional psychic practice. That sabbatical began on August 1st. That sabbatical concluded um, August 31st, which was last Thursday. And it was exactly what my body, mind, and soul needed. Um, whatever burnout I was experiencing has been banished back to the nothingness from whence it came. And what, what blew my mind, like seriously blew my mind, was the surprising resources that came into my life. There is a, a woman named Alejandria Ocasio-Cortez. She's more commonly known as AOC. Um, I was supposed to look up what her official elected title is. She's either a representative, like a state representative, or she's a congressperson, or she, she's a senator. I honestly don't remember offhand. Of course, in the description box, you know I'm going to make sure that I include the correct title for her. And I recently began receiving her emails. And one day, not even a full week into my professional sabbatical, she sends an email with the subject line reading, How to Avoid Burnout. I'm like, you cannot make this shit up. Like, seriously, you cannot make this shit up. And then, um, not even, it was actually the date of the supermoon, full moon, blue moon, in Pisces, which was exactly last Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. I had received an email from um, an online publication called Shift. Shift has articles on physical fitness, mental health, um, professional productivity, you name it, it's covered in, in Shift. There was an article on how to avoid burnout. Literally the day before my professional sabbatical ended, here is this article. And, you know, it really, really gave me so much inner strength to see how committed the great goddess was to yours truly not experiencing burnout anymore. And I also realized that there were two contributing factors to why I experienced burnout. One of them was that I made myself more available than I had planned. Like, originally when I was thinking about how available I was going to be for public venues in 2023, there were certain dates that I was going to be available and certain dates that I was not going to be available. And I made myself available on roughly 50% of the dates that I had already decided I was going to be, where I was officially unavailable. So that was one factor. That was one contributing factor. And then recently, somebody very sacred to me began experiencing some financial hardships. So I needed to do more to cover certain expenses, not only for myself, but for that individual. And it contributed, those two factors contributed to me experiencing burnout. And again, you know, it's still, even after all is said and done, it still surprises me that I actually experience professional burnout because, I mean, if 10 years ago somebody would say to me, you're going to experience professional burnout in your professional psychic practice, I would have looked at them like, um, are you sure you're on target about that? And if I was feeling bitchy, I would have said, what drugs are you taking? Because you need to go to your dealer and tell, you, tell them to stop selling you that fucked up crack. If I was feeling bitchy. But seriously, if somebody would have told me that 10 years ago, I would have been like, I can't see that happening. I just can't. Well, now I've experienced it. Now I know what professional burnout feels like. And now I know what to do to prevent it from happening in the future. And I, I want to tell you something. It, I can honestly say 
that I feel so happy and so incredibly thankful to be alive. I know that some of you know a lot of intimate details about my life and you know that that is something that I usually feel, but I had been, I had not been present to that joy about being alive, to that gratitude for being alive in a very long time. Like I didn't feel it. I didn't acknowledge it for a long, long time. And now I felt it. For a moment I thought there was a video from Swan of Dreamers, but it's it's another YouTube notification for another YouTube channel. But I was like, that looks like oh no, it's not Swan of Dreamers. But anyway, I just had to I had to check. So um, and Michelle, these Michelle Swan Graham, whose YouTube channel is Swan of Dreamers, she was so incredibly supportive of my professional sabbatical and why I needed it. And it's one of the reasons, one of, one of an incredibly ever-expanding list of reasons why I love her, why I adore her, why she is one of my dearest and closest friends, and why she remains one of my all-time favorite people on planet Earth. So I want to reassure you that I feel so much better. My professional burnout has completely ended. It has been banished back to the nothingness from whence it came. I have already conducted two phone readings. One was last uh, Friday, September 1st. Uh, it was a one-hour phone reading in the in the afternoon, actually, which surprised me because I know that this client usually works traditional business hours. And another one was a phone reading I did today. Uh, it was a wonderful phone reading, if I do say so myself. And um, interestingly enough, it was extended to an, an additional hour. So it was a two-hour phone reading, and, and I feel great. I mean, yeah, I could always use a nap, but... You know, I haven't made the time to take a nap today, which is fine, because I'll go to bed early tonight, because I need to wake up early tomorrow morning and all that other good stuff. So yeah, so I've already uh, made it clear that my professional sabbatical ended, and I've already been contacted by people about scheduling readings, about inquiring about my, my rates, and um, I'm looking forward to the events that are coming up as well. Uh, there's only one event that's official. I'm actually going to do a separate video about that. There are two others that are tentative, well actually no, there are two events that are officially official now. That's right, I forgot. One is now officially official, so now there are two events that are officially official, and two other events that are tentative slash definite. All of them will have their separate uh, YouTube videos, and of course will have accompanying blog posts, but absolutely I am very much looking forward to all four of them. So. Um, you're more than welcome to ask me any questions about what I did, what I didn't do, how I spent my sabbatical. And for the record, I spent a lot of my sabbatical reading books, watching movies. I have an ever-expanding list of movies and TV shows that I want to watch. And I'm like, you know what, it's time to start watching these TV shows and movies so that I can reduce that list somewhat. And honestly, um, you know... I also took naps, and I also, I mean, I did what I needed to do if I needed to go to the grocery store, if I needed to run a few errands, you know, I didn't deny myself anything. And I even engaged in three days of sacred solitude, which for me is always, I don't leave my apartment, I don't have any contact with the outside world, my phone is off, my computer is off, and I live for those sacred solitude periods because they are such an incredibly powerful reset for me. They're a cosmic reset, and, and I cannot over-recommend them to all of you in YouTube land. They, they really make a huge difference for me. Mm. And even if you have a lot of commitments and a lot of responsibilities and obligations, even if you took an hour, that'll make a huge difference for you. Just an hour. Like, even an hour will make a difference. I mean, an hour can't be compared to three days, but, you know, whatever is available to you, make it happen. I cannot over-recommend it. And with that, I bring this video to a close. I, of course, am always so thankful to all of you in YouTube land for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel, as well as especially an extra big and beautiful thank you 
to not only those of you who have scheduled your sessions, but uh, to those of you who bought me a coffee. And two people bought me a coffee earlier today, and I was very happy. No, different kind of coffee. The, the coffee that I'm drinking is, is instant, but it's good instant. And the coffee that I received was a $7 love offering, which made me very happy. So I wish all of you a beautiful night, a wonderful week. Enjoy this waning moon. And if you, like myself, live in the Northern Hemisphere, know that autumn approaches. Autumn is coming. Today is fucking hot as hell, but autumn is coming. And stay tuned for the next video.